Okay, this is my brother's uh, pickup truck and trailer. For the last couple of weeks, I've had this trailer here. I'll show you a few things that we've done to it. His plan is uh, he wants to be able to use this pickup truck to pull this trailer to do service calls. That's the plan. So he's going to use this truck. GMC, that stands for Got a Mechanic Coming. And uh, so this is going to be a tire service truck. And here we have Mr. Eugene Depew. Say hi, Eugene. <laughs> we have uh, a toolbox shelf, work shelf that's all mounted up here. Really heavy duty, made by Adrian Steel. Really high quality product. And then we have the compressor here mounted towards the front. And uh, so I have over here a hard airline going in all the way back. And then it goes to these two reels here. Top reels for a one inch impact. Bottom reel is for your half inch impact. Air chucks, air jack. Got a gen set in here. Little welder. And uh, some uh, extra electrical plugs that we can run the, through the gen set. Breaker box. Uh, also the compressor has its own battery the exhaust is run outside through the floor which by the way I'm not going to settle for this exhaust right here I'm going to take it in the next couple of hours and we're going to put a custom exhaust custom welded exhaust uh, run out and there's the pipe sticking down that's not the way it's going to be of course the pipe's going to come within an inch of here and uh, probably come out right there, you know, right in here, maybe an inch within that. And I'll put a heat shield underneath. Uh, we swapped over to this style plug, this seven pin plug, which, you know, they're better than the, the little four pin plug, but they're kind of a, they're kind of a cheap plug, kind of flimsy, all plastic. For the compressor, we mounted the gas tank on the outside in the front of the trailer, uh, directly between the A-frame, so there's no chance of uh, backing up into it with a vehicle. Uh, you know, jackknife in the trailer to where you're going to hit the tank. But the reason we did that is a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, for safety, when you're in an enclosed trailer or any type of enclosure even a small room you don't want to have to deal with gasoline fumes while you're starting up a spark ignited engine so uh, we want to get the gas tank out of the fume area it's also going to allow him to pull up and uh, get some gas right here and then fill this very easily either by pulling forward or else just splitting the difference on the pump should be able to just stop right about right here and reach that tank and reach this tank um, so that gets that clutter out of there I put this jack on it got a nice little bulldog jack uh, like a 5,000 pound jack and it tilts and slides out of the way so that's really nice has all LEDs on it. Richie just put these right here. These are beacons, right, Rich? Yeah. And they flash at different intervals, like real fast, or how does that work? Just a real fast flash. That's all they do, one flash. So they don't, like, just stay on either? They Yeah, they just stay on one flash, and that's all they do. The other one's back, and the back change. Okay. To the flash. However you want the flash. So... Richie also took all the lettering off of here, which I don't know if you can see it. There's still some shadow. The old Parker tire lettering took him a long time with a heat gun and a razor blade. So all the lights on this trailer are LEDs. You got your LED turns and markers. Uh, and then he put, uh, now these ones back here, these are just flash too, right Rich? 
flash whatever way you want them to flash. Okay, so there's four beacons across the back. You got the two up on the very top, the yellow flashers like you'd see on a school bus or a dump truck. And then these here, I'm not sure what color they are. Are they red or? Orange and white. Orange and white, okay. So yeah, and then there's your rear view with the reels here. Uh, and these poles here, we're, we're gonna put some uh, tire irons and spoons and things of that nature. And then right here in this cubby hole behind the reel, we'll probably put our one inch impact and half inch impact so they're not sliding around and floating around. But it's a nice little trailer. I think it's probably a, uh, maybe a seven by 12, six and a half. Yeah, maybe a six, but it seems a little wider than six, but I'd say it's 12 foot long. Pretty heavy trailer. It came with the luggage, ladder racks and stuff, so it's made for contractors. All the lights LED on it. And uh, so this is now a mobile service truck. Whoever has a trailer hitch with a two inch receiver, two inch ball on a receiver, uh, can hook onto this trailer and have a service truck. You got a welder, you got a generator, you got an air compressor. Throw some torches in here, there's not a whole lot you couldn't do. Uh, but they're gonna be using it for tire work and basically it'll be a service truck like that one right there, you know. So really cool, the Parker Tire uh, trailer, service trailer. So as soon as I get that new custom exhaust made up there, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, get some pics of that and post them. But really cool.